What if I told you that you could make six figures just working two months out of the year and probably just take the rest of the year off? So check out this store on Etsy, Big Sun Apparel Co. making $144,000 in the last two months. Another store, Tealix, making $15,000 a month and Pure Joyful Studio making $46,000 a month. Now, some of you are probably gonna say this stores must have been around for five, 10 years to be able to do those numbers. Now, actually this store just started in June, 2023. This one in September and this other one also in September. Yep, that was just two to three months ago. A brand new Etsy store just made six figures in their first two months. And what's their secret? Timing. Now, we all know that in November and December, these are the two months out of the year when people spend the most money. Most businesses make more money in the last two months out of the year than they do in all other months. So if you're thinking of starting a business on Etsy, this is your opportunity to capitalize on the massive holiday spending. And in fact, according to an article from the NRF, this year in 2023, people are going to spend even more money up to $960 billion, which is about three to 4% more than last year. And look, it's still not too late to start. We're still a couple of weeks out. Because instead of starting a store on a slow month, you know, blowing your budget on Etsy ads and just scraping for traffic, why don't you start your store when everyone's in shopping mode? The buying intent is there and they have their wallets ready. And these stores are just proof that it works. So in this video, I'm going to cover three things. Number one, how you can start an Etsy store like this for yourself. I'm going to teach you how to create all the designs and all the tools that you need to automate the production, the shipping, everything. Number two, I'm going to reveal a couple of tricks these stores are using to get this much success early on. And number three, as a bonus, I'm going to show you how you can skyrocket your Etsy sales with this one strategy. So let's dive in. So let's take a look at one of the stores here, Tealix. I'm going to pull up Everbee on the left here and I'm going to click on product analytics, analyze all listings and I'm gonna sort by revenue. And this product alone is making $15,000 a month. And here you can see how long ago this listing was created. Now, if you click on shop details, you're gonna see that this store just started two months ago. That revenue is very impressive for how new this store is. So they gotta be doing something right. So what are they selling? Simple holiday sweatshirts. Now I know what you're thinking, sweatshirts, that's not anything new. Yes, it's not, but that's actually the beauty of it. So sweatshirts or t-shirts has been around for ages. You don't need to reinvent the sweatshirt. And all you need to do is to create better designs. And later I'm gonna show you how to do this even if you're not a creative person. Now, the next thing that people are gonna say is that sweatshirt is so competitive and it's so saturated. But let me tell you why I actually find saturation to be a good thing. And one reason is that I know that there's a proven demand for it and I'm not betting my life on whether they're gonna buy my new invention or not. Now, if you're just spending a few quick minutes creating a generic design, sticking it on a shirt and hoping it will sell, then yes, it's gonna be oversaturated for you because the market is saturated with generic mediocre products. But for those people who are spending the time to create designs that nobody wants to spend the time making, there's relatively no competition for you and that's my approach to selling any product. So you have to reframe the question. Don't ask, should I give up because the market is saturated? But instead ask, how do I break into this market? How can I be different? How do I create better designs for my sweatshirts? How do I offer something unique? And think about it for a second. If this store thinks the same way, oh, this market is too saturated, they would have never made 15,000 a month, $46,000 a month, or even $144,000. Now, speaking of something unique, check out this other store, Big Side Apparel Co. So if you pull up Everbee again, you're going to see that this is their best selling product that's doing $114,000 in the past 30 days, which is insane. And this listing was just created two months ago. And if you click on shop details here, you can also see that the entire store was created about three months ago. Let's look at one of the products here. Now, if you notice here, this is not just any other sweatshirt. They are actually selling a sweatshirt where you can print on the neck, the inner neck here, or the sleeve. And if you're familiar with print on demand, you weren't able to do this before because it was only a few weeks ago that Printify added a new feature where you can print on the sleeve or in the neck area here. So that's one example of offering something unique. And I'll show you exactly which sweatshirt to choose and the exact print provider that allows you to do this later in the video. 
Now, if you go back to Everbee, you'll also see that their other products are doing super well. I mean, all of these, it's easily $150,000 or $200,000 a month, which is quite impressive for being brand new on Etsy. Now, this is exactly how I find stores like this and see their revenue numbers, get some ideas flowing. So when you're doing your product research, two things you got to look at here. So one is you want to look at products that are proven to sell. And second, you want to look at the listing age. So if you find a new listing that was just started about one to three months ago, that's a really good indication that you can enter the market and be as successful. So if you want to try this for yourself, Everbee's got a free plan where you get about 10 free searches. And if you like the tool and you want to upgrade for unlimited searches, you can sign up for the growth plan. Now the good news is that Everbee is having a buy one, get one deal. So if you sign up for the growth plan today, you'll get the second month for free, but only if you go through the link below. So if you're interested, the link is there for you. Now, the key to success in this business is automation. Because automation allows you to work smarter, but not harder to achieve the same results. It allows you to use tools to automate a big chunk of your business so you can focus on other things like product design or customer service. And for this business, I recommend a print-on-demand tool like Printify to automate everything. So when a customer places an order on Etsy, Printify will do all the heavy lifting for you, you know, the printing, fulfillment, including the shipping to your customers. So all you need to do is to create the listings on Etsy and handle all the customer service. Now, because you're using a print on demand provider, you can offer hundreds or even thousands of products and you will still have zero startup costs. Because these stores are not buying any inventory. They're not buying thousands of sweatshirts to keep in their warehouse. You're not taking a risk on buying $20,000, $50,000 on inventory only to find out that nobody wants what you're selling. So your only risk at this point is the time that you've invested and probably the cost of using the software, which is very minimal. Now, I've mentioned before that to stand out from the rest, you have to find something unique. And this store was able to differentiate themselves by allowing for sleeve printing. And Printify allows you to do exactly that. So let me show you how. So once you're on Printify, you want to go to catalog women's clothing, sweatshirts. And you want to pick this sweatshirt, which is the Gildan 18,000. So I've sold a lot of these myself and I can attest to the quality of these sweatshirts. So click on that and go all the way down and you want to find Swift POD. Now they're one of the best for printing sweatshirts, a good printing quality. Now let's do the math and figure out how much you can actually make with these sweatshirts. So if you click on provider info, you're gonna see how much they charge for each product. So as you can see here, we've got two different prices here. Keep in mind that you can use Printify for free. You can connect it to your Etsy store and start selling without paying a dime. But if you have a premium account with Printify, you get much better pricing, as you can see in this column here. For example, so for this particular sweatshirt, you're gonna pay $13.39 and shipping is around $7. And if you ship an additional product to the same customer, it's going to be a lot less. And I did a bit of research on Etsy, and I find that on average, sweatshirts like these are selling for $24. And that's even after the discount. So let's use this number for our example. So production cost is $13.39, and we're going to exclude shipping because you're going to charge the customer for shipping, which is common with these products on Etsy. Now I'm going to add a couple of Etsy fees, and now you're left with $8.85 which is 37% profit margin. And I think that's a pretty healthy margin in my opinion. Now keep in mind that $24 here is a discounted price, so you can potentially make more if you have a period of time where you sell it at a higher price. And also please note that you can only get the $13.39 price if you have Printify Premium. Otherwise it's about $45 more for each product and Printify Premium is $24.99 if you get the annual plan. Now here's the thing. If you can sell roughly just five sweatshirts in a month, then you're gonna see that this premium plan is actually the way to go. Now, full disclaimer, I am a Printify partner, so they're kind enough to give you guys a premium account for free for the next 30 days if you sign up using the link below. And I think that's a really good deal and there's literally no risk for you. So if you're interested, make sure to sign up before the promotion ends. Now, if you like ideas like this, be sure to like the video and subscribe so you'll never miss another business idea. I really appreciate that. For this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a sweatshirt with a funny Christmas quote, uh, including how to get it on a cool looking mock-up like this one. And I'm going to use Kittle to help us design all this. So let's open up Kittle. And once you're logged in, 
you want to look for AI quote generator. So this is where we're going to get the AI to generate a few quote ideas. So click on generate quote and I'm just going to write Christmas here and choose funny and let's see what it comes up with. All right, so we have a few options to choose from here and this one looks good. So let's choose this one, Holly Jolly Mood. I think it's pretty clever. Now I want to go back to Kittle and show you that if you're not doing quotes, um, they also have tons of illustrations, ready to use artwork, all the designs that you can reuse right away on your products. So you don't have to go to another website and purchase a separate artwork and incur an additional cost. So if you have a subscription with Kittle, you automatically have the right to use all these designs. So you know that you'll always be legally protected. Now, what I love about Kittle is that all their designs, they look very professional. So as you can see here, this, these are not basic designs. They're very detailed. Uh, it doesn't look like you just ripped it off of Google or something. Now, if you're looking for something Christmassy, you can just type in Christmas and just look at this. You can use any of these designs for your product. Basically, all you need to do is change the text or colors to whatever you want. And let's just take a look at this one here. Now that will fit right into a sweatshirt. So I'm going to search for quotes. I'll just take this one right here and let's put it on a blank canvas. That looks good. I'll just take a few seconds to change all the text and adjust the colors and make sure that the background is removed because we just want that plain text printed on that sweatshirt. Now you're going to see that all these listings have a nice mock-up of the text printed on the actual sweatshirts, right? So you can do that in Kittle as well. So if you look up here, you're going to see this shirt icon, which is the mock-up generator. Just click on that and you get to choose what product you're selling. So you could be selling tumblers, blankets, towels, they've got it. But we want this on a sweatshirt. So you want to type in sweatshirt. Now you have a few options here for sweatshirts. So we're just going to pick this one here. I think it looks quite realistic. And with just one click, your text is automatically on a sweatshirt. So you can change the sweatshirt color, you can adjust the text so it's right where you want it to be. Now the one downside to this that if you wanted something printed on the sleeve, you can't really do that now because they just allow one layer of design on the mock-up. And I've spoken to the team at Kittle and they've actually taken in my suggestion and they're going to allow you to do that in January of 2024. So if you're watching this in January, you should be able to put the text on the front here and also on the sleeve. But a workaround that you can do now is that you can download this image with a quote in the front and then re-upload it again on new canvas and put a Santa hat on the sleeve. So for those of you who are wondering, Kittle is free to try. You can play around the tool, browse the templates. But once you get serious and you're ready to export your project for Etsy, you have to upgrade to the pro plan, which is $15 a month or just $10 if you get the annual plan. So this is the plan that I'm personally on. I mean, with this plan, you get all their templates. You can edit them. They've got an AI tool to create images, quotes, and they can even generate mockups. So I think that's a lot of features that you get. Now, Kittle has been kind enough to send me a 50% discount code. So if you use the code JSON, you can get your first month for 50% off. So it's actually going to be just $7.50 a month. Plus, if you sign up today, you get unlimited AI generation until the end of the year. So I've provided the link below if you'd like to try this out. Now, one of my strategies to be successful on Etsy is to have an absolutely killer listing images. So you don't want to underestimate this because when people search for a product on Etsy, you, the seller, are competing with thousands and thousands of other listings. And you only have a split second to capture people's attention and get that click. So if you just use a mediocre image, you're going to get mediocre results. So you have to really put in the effort for this. So what I recommend is find the best mock-up you can with a real person who may be wearing the product so your customers can imagine what it's like on a real human. And one of the ways you can get great mock-ups is from Etsy itself. So I found this mock-up they can buy for just $1.90 and they've got so many different mock-ups for different products in any color that you want. So I went ahead and bought this to show you how you can place the design on the mock-up. Now keep in mind that if you're using Swift POD, the design is gonna be printed on the outside of the sleeve. So you wanna make sure that you get the right mock-up that shows outside printing. Otherwise, you're gonna get a lot of complaints from your customers. Now to show you this, I'm gonna go back to Kittle and open new project and let's place the mock-up here. Now, you're just gonna upload the two artworks that we just created. And I'm just going to put the text right in the middle here, move it up top, 
is the perfect size and bare here on the sleeve. Make it smaller and I'll just adjust the rotation. And for both elements, I'm gonna adjust the opacity so they look more realistic. And that's it. Now you're ready to export this and upload it to your Etsy listing. So I'm gonna give you a couple of tips that you can use when you're setting up your store so you can have success like these stores here. And these are the strategies that I use personally on my Etsy store. So I'm sure this will help you. So number one, 24 hour sale. So you wanna make sure that in this holiday season, you wanna put your products on sale. But the key here is to make sure that your sale is short enough to create that sense of urgency. So on Etsy, you can put your sale period to maybe one or two weeks. But during a holiday rush, I like to put mine on two days or even as short as 24 hours. So for example, if you see a listing like this, sale ends in two days, does that create a sense of urgency? Mm, yes and no. How about a sale ends in three hours? You're probably gonna buy now, right? Yes, because most people when they see a product like this, they see a price and for whatever reason, they wanna wait, go to another listing and then they forget. So the trick here is to create that urgency to drive that sale. Because getting people to click on your listing is hard enough, but once they're there, you want to make sure that you try your best to turn that click into a sale. So tip number two is titles and tags. So the number one thing that you want to focus on is obviously titles. Make sure that the most important keywords are in the beginning of your title. And I, I see a lot of people do this, but don't write gift for her or Christmas gifts because that's way too vague. You want to look at your competitors and see what they have on their title and try to understand what they're doing here. Now the next one is tags. So Etsy uses tags to learn about your product and show it to the right audience. And again, don't go for something too broad like gift ideas or gift for her, gift for him. Because think about it, even if you rank for these keywords, you're probably going to be on page 1000. So that's not going to help you either. But instead go to Airbnb and you want to look at your competitors listings and i always look here because sometimes there are a couple of phrases that you miss or you don't think about so it's always good to see what other people are using number three holiday hacking now we all know that this is q4 holiday season the biggest season of the year for shopping and you're gonna see a lot of etsy stores having their best sales this quarter and even brand new stores are getting that traffic boost in fact that's also how i started my etsy stores in the past and I can tell you from my own experience that the holiday search really helps. And they're using a strategy called holiday hacking where you sell products based on major holidays. So for example, if you start a store on Christmas and see success, next you can do Valentine's Day, Easter, Memorial Day, 4th of July, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Halloween, the list goes on. For example, with stores like this, QT shirts, they just started two years ago and they're making bank every single holiday. It can be very passive once you have the store running. Now keep in mind that you're not stuck to sweatshirts or t-shirts because you can do other things like ornaments, wall arts, and tumblers. And all of these products do very well during the holidays. And they all can be fulfilled with Printify. Now I'm gonna give you a pro tip here. If you wanna take your store to another level, you might wanna listen to this one. So I always tell you to make an effort to create the best designs you can. But sometimes what looks good is very subjective and you're not gonna be able to cater to everyone. But there's one thing that you can add to your product that will just expand your audience and make a massive difference. That is personalization. Yes, having personalization allows your customers to design their own so you don't have to overthink your designs. Now, yes, I know personalization is not new, but not many people know the power of this. And I know what you're thinking too. Are you saying that I have to manually edit every order that comes in? Well, here comes the good part because we got this new app, Hello Custom, that can automate the personalization for you using AI. So in the past, what you were able to automate is probably the printing and the shipping to the customer. But whenever there's a personalization request, you still have to manually go in and edit the text for your customer. But now Hello Custom takes care of that and automate that part for you as well. And that's the app that this mom uses to make $50,000 a month on Etsy. And that's just insane. And that's the power of personalization. Now, if you want me to do a deep dive on how everything works and how to automate all this, put a comment down below. And if I get enough comments, I'll make another video for you on this. All right, so if you guys find value in this video, the best way to support me is to click subscribe and like the video. Now, a lot of people also ask me, what if your Etsy shop gets suspended? You just started selling and probably making $50, $100 a day, 
you're getting some momentum. But when you wake up one morning, you get an email from Etsy that your store just got suspended for no reason. This happens to countless people and unfortunately nobody's immune to this. But I recently made a video where I share my strategies on how to navigate this issue and how to protect your hard-earned income. So if you're serious about making money and create a sustainable income for yourself, make sure you watch that video before you start your Etsy shop and I'll see you there.